it's snowing. Oh, it's so pretty. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys could join me today. If you'll remember from my first video, my intro video, I said that I was going to start every video with emotions, and I have not done that. Not even once. So that was actually one of the goals I wrote down for this year. Begin every video with devotions. I'm going to try to do that because I said I was going to, so I will. Yeah, I'm going to share with you about First Kings, what I read this morning. Um, and then I'm going to go make some cookies for Bible study tonight. We will see what happens. I'm just going to vlog about my day. So, hope you guys enjoy. So, I read chapter 3 of First Kings. Um, and that's talking about how Solomon asked for wisdom. So reading this, I was just amazed because God said, ask for whatever you want and I'll give it to you. And Solomon, instead of saying, you know, give me food or give me jewelry or give me gold or silver, instead of asking for random or um, things that he might have wanted, he asked for something he needed. Um, and before answering, he looked at his, the situation around him. He observed where he was at and what God has done for him, and he really just stopped and thought about it and was like, wow, you've been faithful to me, you've been good to me, um, so because of that, or because of where I'm at right now, I want wisdom, because that's what I need. And so I think it's just a good reminder that we need to think about where we're at and be thankful for where we're at, um, and also when we want something, we need to think about, okay, is this what I need, or is just something? This just something I want. This is just a really good reminder to be aware of our situation, to be aware of where we're at in life, and to just be thankful. And to just remember to um, ask God for the things we need, and not just, you know, silly things. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys this morning. That was 1 Kings chapter 3. And I'm going to continue reading in 1 Kings, and I'll probably continue to share about 1 Kings. But yeah, I think we should go make some cookies. Sorry. Just real quick, I wanted to show you this cute little journal I have that says it's so the adventure begins. And when I do devotions in the morning, usually I just read through my Bible, highlight, underline, etc. And then I go in here and I write my questions, comments, sometimes I'll just write the verse down um, and write what, was, what stood out to me. So, just want to show you guys that real quick. Alright, can you guys see that? Whoa. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna make some cookies. Oh, the snow! It's still coming down. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, pretty sure I'm not going to Bible study tonight. Who knows, my dad might will be willing to drive me up, but he's in town with my mom right now at a staff meeting, so. Don't know. We'll wait and see, but we're supposed to get a lot of snow. <laughs> got so many blankets. Actually, I got three. I got three blankets for Christmas, and that like never happens. Um, I really want to show you the one that my grandma made me. She worked on it for like I want to say almost a year. It was a really long time. Um, and it is so beautiful. It is so so cool. And then the second one I got was from my uncle. He gave all of. Uh, the nieces and nephews blankets from like Fred Meyer but they're really cute and they're fuzzy too and then I got one from my friend and yeah I'll show you the one that my grandma made it's really cute okay so this is the one that my grandma made it is huge it is heavy and it is so cool check this out guys this took her forever to make that must have took a long time Blankets are my favorite. I am currently reading this book called Love Does by Bob Goff, and it is such a good book. It talks about all the things love can do, and it talks about how love has power, and it is such a good book. This is definitely a good read. I definitely recommend it. Um, wow, I said definitely a lot. I never do that. <laughs> um, Bob Goff has spoken at our church a couple times, and it is so fun to hear him talk. He's really funny. But he also has some really awesome things to say. So, definitely recommend it. Bob Goff loved those. Still snowing.
Well, we're gonna go sledding across the road. There's a big hill over there. And me and two of the boys are gonna go. And we're gonna have so much fun! It's cold out here, guys. I am not going to Numa because, like Holly said in my last video, if it snows out here on the farm, you don't go nowhere. So, yeah. I will go to Numa next week. It's called Numa. Um, that's a whole other story. Look at the snow, little girl. Come here. Come here. Shiloh, come here. She's gotten so big. What is it? Joel, are you excited to go sledding? Shiloh. What do you think of the snow? It's cold out here, huh? Uh, no. We don't bite. We're still working on the biting habits, huh? <gasps> What's that? Is it fun? Yeah. All right. Look at all this beautiful snow. Well, I guess you're just seeing the field. Woohoo! Sorry, I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> well, I'm going to end the video here and say bye bye. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give a thumbs up, subscribe, leave some comments. I will see you guys later. There we go! Woohoo! <laughs> Bye. Say bye. Oh, your hands are cold.